Hey everyone, Dave Smith's resistancebandtraining.com coming to you from the band gym because I want to take you through how to go ahead and foam roll the key areas of your thigh that often lead to knee pain if that area is not cleaned out and the myofascial structures are not cleared out. I'm going to take you through. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go through the anterior lateral thigh, the lateral thigh or the IT band region, and the VMO region. So I want to take you through how to do that. So first of all, you're going to position yourself. Now, if I was going to do just the middle of the thigh, I would stay directly onto the roll. But I'm going to do a quarter turn. Let me show you on this leg. I'm going to do a quarter turn so that I can go ahead and get the anterior lateral portion of the thigh. We're going to work it all the way from the top of the kneecap all the way down to the hip crease. And we want to make sure that we clear that area, that there's no discomfort. You should be able to roll through there with the entire weight of your body onto the roll. And it shouldn't be discomfort stopping you from continuing on. From there, we're going to go all the way to the lateral thigh. Notice I get onto my forearm. Once again, I should be able to roll through that entire portion of that lateral thigh without any knee joint, or excuse me, without any thigh discomfort. From there, we want to go ahead and we want to hit the VMO. And the best place to do this is to go ahead, position yourself with the roll slightly tilted, and you want to work through that VMO. While you're at it, take yourself entirely through the anterior portion, excuse me, the medial portion of the thigh to go ahead and get that adductor and clear that area. Typically, that won't be the problem. Typically, it's just the VMO, that portion of your knee, right off your kneecap, that's going to go ahead and get tight. Now, if you want to go ahead and get at that area with a softball, go ahead and get after that area with a softball. So guys, it's important that all of those areas are cleared and there's no pain with your foam roll. If there is, you want to go ahead and start working on that daily to go ahead and make sure that we start clearing that out so that if that is a result of why your knee, why your knee is painful, we go ahead and clean that out. A lot of times, if you go ahead and clean those areas out with the foam roll, you're going to notice a distinct decrease in your overall knee pain.